as the BCU Rams take on the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Driving and beating Miller to the hole, Diaz gets the basket. For this BCU team, Shaka Smart reminds us they asked the same questions of Joey Rodriguez when Eric Maynard left. Steal, Theus, feed to Daniels. Daniels, three ball. BCU has their first lead of the game. They surround the post and they make you do something you don't want to do. Weber knocks down the three. Reed and Miller collide, and Daniels comes away with it. Unforced error, lead pass, ends up in the hands of Burgess. Fouled on the put-in. Had an angle to block it. We're live at the Charleston Classic. Burgess knocks down a three. Rams take an eight-point lead. Georgia Tech's offense is so hurried up by this DCU defense. That's the plan. And this is not a great game for Daniel Miller because he's got to fly up and down. Brandenburg hits his first three. Under a minute to play here in the first half. Burgess for three, and it's on its way. He sinks it. By spreading out his offense, and obviously scoring, by spreading out his offense. Daniels hits the bottom of the net. Cam Holsey with his fourth point right ahead to Reddick. Beat everybody down the floor, and they got the two right back. Every team needs to have a guy they know they can go to for points, and Glenn Rice is that guy. VCU answers on the break, however, with Theus, who's trying to give him a lift. It's a tech faithful getting into this thing. Burgess from distance. Brandenburg trying to split the defense. Daniels is heard from again. Been a while since we called his name. Pretty good defense for the big guy out there. Well, yeah, he's taking the point guard. You're right. Weber launches the three and hits it. 73-60, the final for Georgia Tech.